Um, we're going to move on to our next little topic of discussion. This one comes from Kylie. I was quite surprised to see this um, in the trailer, and we'll discuss next. You want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. All of us just need to have a bigger conversation about the beauty standards that we're setting. I don't want my daughter to do the things I did. I wish I'd never touched anything to begin with. I was very surprised by this because, you know, for years they have been asked this question and this has never been their answer. So I'm very interested to kind of hear your guys' thoughts on why that might have changed and maybe why Kylie is leading the discussion. I'll get both of your opinions on this, but Kate, go ahead and go first. I mean, this again is a tale as old as time, us talking about the beauty standards that the Kardashians set and how they're so willing to overlook the fact that they do set the beauty standards and that they have gotten plastic surgery. This is the first time we've ever seen Kylie really talk about maybe some of the other procedures she's had done. And I, you know, I feel very strongly that the way that they portray beauty standards in the media is very damaging because they've never once owned up to the fact that they've all had work done. They're promoting, you know, makeup and different things to make you look different ways and being like, oh, well, I do this. This is how I get this. It's like, no, that's not what happened. You went to the doctor and you got filler. Like, so I think... <laughs> This is, I'm really interested to see what Kylie has to say. And the fact that it's coming from Kylie, I think for me, Kylie is my favorite sister. So I was really excited that this came from Kylie first, because honestly, she was kind of the first one to ever really publicly talk about any type of procedure with her lip filler. So it does make sense that she is the first one to really, you know, round up the sisters and, and start this conversation with them. And I also think she's bringing it up because she has, you know, kids she is a daughter and i think of all of the mothers of that like all of them who are mothers kylie is the one that i feel is the most sensitive to the way that her daughter perceives you know the world the way her daughter grows up i mean it's not to say that the rest of them aren't like that but i think kylie especially is like that and is very concerned with the way stormy feels about herself and how stormy treats others etc cetera, etc cetera. so i mean i'm not very shocked that this came from her and i'm excited to see what she says um, because it has been something that people have been talking about for a really long time, uh, and begging for her to open up about. So I'm, I mean, asked and answered, I guess. <laughs> I'm curious to see how organic of a conversation this is in the actual edit. Um, I'm curious to know if she just walks in and just sits down and starts this conversation, like it was prompted. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious to see if this actually is a conversation that she's having in a pre-existing way with somebody to where it actually does come up. Because I think if it's the first one, then I think that they've just been under fire for having this question thrown mm -hmm. at them so many times that the producers are like, let's take the opportunity and you, you're going to be the one to pioneer and to lead this. Um, especially because Kylie's had so many different augmentations allegedly done to her body at such a young age. I mean, she's younger than I am. And like with the other girls, at least they're a little bit older, I guess. I mean, they still are, have had a lot of work done. But I just think it's fascinating. Uh, this took me out of left field. I was not expecting for this to come up in at all, ever, in the Kardashian history. Um, so I'm really curious to see how this is going to unfold. And yeah, I, I like that she is saying something if it is extremely organic on her end. And I really, I agree. I think that she cares the most about how her daughter perceives her as a mom and and even just the world around her. So I really I really want to see how this conversation pans out. And I'm curious to see too if they're just touching the surface with it or if this is a deep dive. Mm -hmm. Like I'm hoping this is several episodes worth because there's a lot to unpack here. And clearly they're awake about it. So talk about it. You know what I mean? I'm hoping yeah. that that's the case. Yeah, I'm with both of you. When I first saw that, my you know, knee-jerk reaction was to say this is not authentic because they've been asked this question before, even on that, you know, reunion special with Andy Cohen. And what did Kim say? She was like, absolutely not. You know, she went way other direction. And so to have that kind of switch, I, my immediate reaction was, okay, they know that people don't like them because of the, you know, unrealistic beauty standards that they set. And they are trying to, you know, regain some tr maybe fandom, maybe loyalty. I don't know. What I will say, I think the more that I think about it, 
I want to give them the benefit of the doubt until I see otherwise, especially because I do believe that now that Kylie has a daughter, her opinions are changing. And I think when you do get older and you do have more life experience, your opinions on things are allowed to change. And, you know, she specifically says, I don't want my daughter to do the same things that I did. And she is not going to come to that realization until she has a daughter, you know? So I'm hoping that really this is an opportunity for growth for everybody that we can start to have these conversations um, within the family and that they'll listen to Kylie. Before you go, make sure you like this video, ring the bell, subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any pop culture updates. As always, I'm your host, Morgan Wright. Today, I was joined by the lovely Kate and Hannah. Our social media is on the screen right now if you want to come say hello, and we will see you back here next time. Bye, everyone.